I know I have got to probably be the slowest person to upload videos on YouTube lately, but it is what it is. Uh, for anybody that has jumped into projects like this, you know that it costs a lot of money. A lot. And so, yeah, I have to, I have to work my butt off to afford this thing, but it's fun. So first things first on the agenda today is to head to my buddy Danny's house. Uh, he has a CNC mill and one of the things that we're going to do today is my Ford Mustang suspension that I'm putting on the Datsun. I noticed that the front spindles do not actually go inside of the hubs on uh, the center bores of my BBS wheels. And so what we're going to do is we're going to load the wheels into his CNC and we're going to bore out the centers just ever so slightly so that they fit the wheels a little bit better. I know that I probably could have went with spacers or any other option, but this seems like the best one. All right, we are about to pull up to my buddy Danny's house. Let's uh, check out his shop. guys everybody this is my buddy Danny Danny's gonna help me out with these wheels because I saw I can buy the wrong things uh, Danny you want to tell them what we're doing today sure yeah that's that's not true it's just uh, modification always requires extra work especially for doing cool shit so if you want to do cool shit you have to do a bunch of work so uh, basically this uh, this wheel bore is about perfect for the Mustang um, that the problem is, is the Mustang bores sort of have a taper to them. So long story short, it doesn't fully seat on the hub. So we're gonna take them into the machine here, cut a chamfer around the back, forget about the bore it, 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 in its entirety and basically, you know, uh, give it enough clearance so that it can seat right down and, and actually you know, work as a wheel, so. Cool. Uh, you wanna actually, can we flip it over and show them like what it, uh, what it is that was the actual issue when I got these? Yeah. So here's the issue. Um, so this, this chamfer, this relief, if you will, uh, normally allows it to seat on, you know, kind of whatever hub it was originally designed for, who knows, probably a BMW, um, being that it's a BBS. Um, the, the issue with this is that there is a slight taper uh, on this Mustang hub. And so the fix here, instead of, you know, milling an appropriate taper into this and potentially ruining it for any other car, is to just widen out this relief here such that it'll fit down on, on, on the hub face that really needs only about a sixteenth of an inch. So a couple mils and uh, that'll take care of it and still allow it to run on other cars. So So what's this machine we're working on today? It's a Haas? This is a Haas, yeah, it's a TM one P. It's sort of Haas's entry level machine, if you will. Um you know, they sell them targeted towards education and things like that. And then obviously the, the guys uh, and girls out in their garages and shops that want to make cool shit. So, um, you know, the, the mostly the most affordable way to get into a Haas, you know, sort of a quote unquote big boy machine. Um, and it does, it does well. It cuts about anything that I ask of it. All right. Well, on that note, B-roll.
so it is the next day. We are back in the garage. The wheels are back. Let me show you kind of what was done. So as you can see, we basically took a little bit of a lip out of the wheels. Just a small little chamfered detail in every single one of the wheels. And like he was saying, that's basically so that the hubs would sit flush. In the grand scheme of things, that was a small project that probably really didn't need to get done right now. I have a, an absolute ton of other things that need to get done. The car's about to go to sandblast. It's finally torn down completely. The engine's ready to be put back together. There's a ton of stuff to do in the back, but yeah, there's just, there's more things than I can count. So all of that will be coming up in a couple of future episodes. So until then, catch you guys later.